Yeah, look at this beautiful entrance to the Westin. It is cold in SF. Y'all ain't tell me this, man. I'm leaving out the Westin though. And fortunately, I'm down the street from Sears Fine Food, which is known for their Swedish pancake. And Sears Fine Food is a block down. I'm at Union Square, next to Saks Fifth. Ankles all ashy and everything too, so let's check them out, man. Sometimes I have to be mindful because even though I'm walking down Powell Street with the camera, I am wearing an Eagles hoodie. <laughs> Should have had more quarterbacks. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay. It looks good, really small, really tiny pancakes. Bacon looks good and crispy. Gotta get the home fries though. I love a home fries. I love a love a home fries. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, bro. Yes, sir. You look a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little cute pancakes. My son would love these pancakes. And you know, he would love these pancakes right here. Let's try this out though. How am I eating this? I don't even need to cut this up. I'll eat it just like that. Here you go, cheers. Feels like it's less flour. <clears throat> More eggs. Mmm, different type of texture for sure. I'm gonna wrap that up. Well, these pancakes are good. It's kind of like in between like an American pancake and like a, a French crepe, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna say it again, great bacon. I love a home fries, I love a love a home fries. If you gotta make home fries, <laughs> you gotta make it like this. Wow, that's fresh orange juice. That's 100% orange juice right there. They actually squeezed the heck out of that orange juice back there. Actually, I don't. I want another cup of orange juice. It's good. Huh? That is so they good. You squeeze it every day. I, I can tell. It's good. Yeah. I drank that in two two gulps. I'm I like, know. this is really fresh. Yeah. That's the that's the best orange juice I ever had in my life. y'all i am in sf for a quick trip i don't know what i'm doing here but i landed here and uh, i wanted to see what sf has to offer and uh, through my research here i've been told stan tongue has some of the greatest wings ever let's go check them out y'all i know a lot of y'all gonna be like why you don't hit me up when you in town look maybe next time when i gotta get my mind right for it but either way let's go check out stan tongue subscribe Urban Street, San Tung, you gotta get the wings. They're dry fried wings. Um, that's what they're famously known for. Uh, they have really weird hours too. So they open at a certain time, then they close in the mid-afternoon, then reopen again. As soon as you walk in, you gotta 
write your name on the uh, waiting list in the front and they sit you right in. So I ordered the wings and I ordered some black bean sauce noodles too. So let's check them out, y'all. San Fran, first time visiting. The nice fresh cucumbers on top, julienne cut. Mix this up, huh? Mmm, smells amazing. Great aromatics. Lots of uh, lots of onions. I believe. I think this is seafood. Seafood, onions, tofu, cucumbers. I just spilled that. Thank you. Let's try this out, baby. Samsung, let's see what the hype is all about, right? Very good. Oh, this is all seafood, too. There's a lot. You could probably feed two people with this. Thank you. The wings just came out, y'all. I like the coolness from the cucumbers. This is uh, just seafood. This is seafood, probably like a uh, black bean stew. It's very hearty. It looks like a zucchini in here too. Very good. Very good, shrimp. Let's check out the uh, the famous chicken wings. All right, let me show you real quick. Here we go. Let's see what the hype is all about. We got peppers in here. Really sticky sauce. Here we go. Ooh, hot. Ooh. Let you know what I think in a minute. Deep fried in peppers, garlic. It's just a glaze, man. It's kind of like this is the sweet it's garlicky glaze. Can't forget about the noodles, though. I'm trying to figure out. I honestly felt like I had this back home already. You know what I mean? I mean, who knows? Maybe they invented this style. All about that glaze, that sauce, and put it right here on the rice. Think of a uh, think of a general soul sauce in a way, a little bit more garlicky, over some wings. That's how I see it. What y'all think? Y'all from SF? Let me know what y'all think about these wings. I honestly kind of feel like. They're good. But I don't see anything special about them. Yeah, I remember the first time I actually had Korean um, double fried wings. And those, I can see why they were special. These are just battered and then tossed into like a uh, pepper garlic sauce. Which were probably legendary back in the day. 
With the internet though, people catch on fast. They can mimic mimic the recipe. They should have just called these general soul wings. Then again, I ain't mad at it. I'm here for the experience. So I mean overall I felt like it was it was okay. It wasn't kind of lost its star power throughout the years, if you ask me. Uh, I felt like maybe 30 years ago was probably the one to go to, but I don't know. It was uh, definitely standard seven. It's a good score. Let's see what else we can find. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. We are in Mission, the mission area. Up next is La Tacaria. Suppose you have some of the best uh, tacos in town. Let's check it out, y'all. So it looks like there's a window here. You walk up, you order, then they seat you. Um, what's the difference between a regular and a super? The taco and burrito is... <clears throat> or what's a regular and a super? Yeah, the regular is the beans and salsa. The super, lasar, cream, cheese, avocado. Okay, let me, uh, let me get... How many orders come in a... How many tacos come in order? One. Just one? I'm gonna do regular then. Um, I get a lengua, okay. taco, uh, carnitas, mm -hmm. carne asada, and a cabeza. All of them regular? Yeah, all regular. Okay. And the beef and carnitas just come with the beans and pico de gallo. Okay. And the cabeza and lengua, onions and cilantro. Okay, sounds good. And to drink? Agua fresca. Si, okay. Um, let's do pineapple. It's more size, so large. Let me get a large. Eighty or ten <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, up next is La Tacaria. I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. I feel like this one is going to be uh, living up to the hype. It's a 2017 James Beard Award winner, and everyone's been suggesting this place a lot. And I am thirsty. It is a sunny day here in SF. Pineapple agua fresca. The wildfire is so crazy in the Northeast. My allergies acting up, and my ears are clogged. Got off the plane, I couldn't hear nothing. I don't even know if I'm speaking loud or not. Y'all gotta bear with me. All right, let's see what this one is. Looks mad fresh. Let's see if these are the best tacos I've ever had. Cheers. Very good. This is the cow head. Delicious. Delicious. Check the other one out. I love it. I mean, these are kind of pricey tacos, but they are hefty. They give you a lot of bang for your buck here. Look. A lot of cilantro, a lot of onions. This sauce is the bomb. I don't even know if it's the tongue or the cow head. I honestly don't know. It kind of tastes the same to me. Super tender. The way they cook that down is amazing. This is really good. Living up to the hype. The agua fresca bangs. <clears throat> All right, 
I definitely can't eat it all. I just want to taste it. So this comes with the pico de gallo and the beans too. Tell you what, the cow tongue and the cow head, <clears throat> they were good. They just taste the same to me, just uh, beefy, mushy. But their steak taco, probably the best steak taco I've ever had. The steak is tender, juicy, it's smoky, good flavors, good grill flavors. Steak tacos, where it's at. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting full. Last up is the carnitas. <clears throat> I like it. Hopefully, it left me some of that pork skin. Yeah, it definitely do it up. Delicious. Mm. The last two tacos definitely in the nine. The first two I say was probably in the six point five. <laughs> you gotta get, gotta get it with the beans and the pico de gallo. Definitely sets it off. Great tacos. Good size. Great quality, fresh ingredients, great atmosphere. You want to know something? My favorite taco this year? <clears throat> Orlando, OBT, Orange Blossom Trail. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Go back, in the, go back in the archives and check them. That's still one of my favorite taco places. Yo, I ain't no bitch, you know, like that. Y'all yeah. know I can handle my spice. I don't know why lately I can't handle the spice. Like, I'm hurting over here. I'm coming back with the family. So this is just a solo trip, so I'm coming back with the family. You know, maybe we can do salsa lito or something. I can't even talk. Man, I ain't no bitch, though. It's not spicy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. everyone I am back in the uber I'm headed to RNG lounge um, I know I did a lot of eating today but I rested and I felt better and RNG lounge isn't too far from the hotel so and uh, I'm gonna see what these uh, salt and pepper Dungeness crabs are like at RNG lounge all right stay tuned <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Would you look at that? No reservation needed. Walked in right away. I got recognized by uh, someone who watched my video. And um, I'm here, RNG Lounge, San Francisco. Let's see. You sat right there? Yeah. Man, RIP to Anthony Bourdain, Tony. Quite cold here in the Bay. Uh, I kid you not, I have shorts on and I'm cold. It's freezing, so it's only right we're gonna do a bowl of soup. <laughs> Crab with salt and pepper signature dish. MKT market prices. It don't even have a price on it, so you know what that means, huh? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Beautiful, thank you. Holy shit. I said out loud, that is a beautiful piece of work. 
Look at the crab looking right at me. Good God. Smells amazing. Aromatics do 360 view on this one. Mm -mm -mm. Look at the garlic on here, y'all. Oh my gosh. Shout out to the homie Nate for suggesting this spot to me. But the only thing, Nate, Nate didn't tell me about the uh, the crabs, the crabs though. He told me about the uh, the soy sauce chicken. <laughs> I don't think he knew about the crabs. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at all that garlicky salt and pepper goodness on top. Top. This is still piping hot. Still piping hot. Let me, let me lick this fried garlic on top. Intense, baby. Oh. So hot. Oh, shit. Just the seasoning alone. I thought it was going to be like salt and pepper uh, chicken wings from like David's or something like that. Totally different. Their 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 fried garlic on here changes the game. I think I see shallots in here too, or green onions. I mean, nice sweetness to it as well. Ooh. Hot. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, it is so good. Thank you. Oh, do you have hot hot chili oil? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Here we go. Mm. Whatever the market price on this is, definitely worth it. It is worth it. It's like. The crab is so fresh because they just uh, they just took it out the tank and they put it to sleep and um, freshly battered. So you get the battered seasoning here. Mm-hmm. This is insanely good. Look at that. Okay. Hyena half. Hyena laugh. If there's one perfect seasoning, I have to put salt and pepper, um, the Chinese way of doing salt and pepper wings or seafood or scallops or crabs. They perfected that seasoning. Let's get to the noodles. These are like seafood garlic noodles. And I like how they put a fork in there for me. But as y'all know, I'm pretty proficient in these chopsticks, man. See the scallops here? Scallops. Mmm. Mmm, smoky. Woo. I see uh, shrimp here. Got shrimp. I got clams. And they got cabbage. 
And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some of that that garlic that was on the uh, on the deep fried crab. I'm gonna put some of that garlic seasoning on here. Food is so good. Thank you. <laughs> it's not. It has like a really subtle garlic sweetness to it, and it lets the seafood shine. The cabbage is crunchy. Mm. We might have this back home, but I've never ordered this. This is delicious. I'm gonna see. But. Think of a lighter lo mein. Not, 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 not as much seasoning on it, but a light, subtle garlic oil on here. Amazing. And you add the cabbage and the seafood flavor. Yeah, man. This is worth the trip. I was, I was sitting in my hotel debating if I should uh, come try this place. It's only 10 minutes away. And I'm glad I arrived because they also say that the wait time here is crazy. But as y'all can see, if you come here by yourself, you get a table right away. Let's try the soup next. This is the beef and turnip soup. All right. Beef and turnip soup. I wanted a different type of soup. I didn't want to do no wonton. I didn't want no regular broth or nothing like that. I wanted some different, something so refreshing. And I wanted something beefy with a vegetable in here. So I'm about, I'm about to do that. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm, tasty. Mm. I like it. We got a turn up right here. Let's try the beef. It's hot though. I gotta let that cool down a little bit. Mm. The uh, the crab with the seafood garlic noodles are dreamy. Uh, I'll be dreaming about those tonight. Actually, I'll be eating those for leftovers for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, this is good. Refreshing. Um, I'm a soupy dude. Most of my meals when I'm at home, I gotta have soup with it. If you're like me, leave a comment. Anything I eat, well, as far as Asian dishes go. Like if I'm eating like, let's say if I just ordered Chinese takeout, I gotta have like a wonton or something like that, right? Places like this are a true gem. There's no misses. You cannot miss with these places. The only thing that you can probably get them for is probably customer service. But as far as the food, it comes out fast, hot, fresh. That's a fact. I've been to many of these places. And uh, they get you in and out, man. I'm gonna go back to these garlic noodles. I'll be back. But in the meantime, y'all keep alive. <laughs> See you on the next episode. Peace. All right, so if y'all want to know what the price is, the uh, salt and pepper crab was 59 bucks. That's the market price. If you ask me if it was worth it, I'd say uh, places like this, if you're coming from out of town, 
but definitely worth it. You know what I mean? Um, worth the experience. Thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Definitely worth, to me it's worth it. Um, it was fresh, um, seasoned really well, tasty. You get a lot of meat from the crab. Uh, overall, great experience, great customer service here. I, I highly suggest it, man. Um, I, I see what you're talking about, man. Presentation, everything. Look at the, 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 the to-go bag, look like I just shopped at like Gucci or something. Look at that. RNG. Real and I don't know what's G stand for. <laughs> oh, but someone's picked that seat. Oh, someone's there. Okay. That one is the end on the building seat. Oh, nice. That's the first time I've seen that seat. Oh, second, second time over there. Near, oh, okay. Near this is crazy. The uh, the lady that was hosting me too. She was showing me where Anthony Bourdain was sitting, and it was it was cool to see. She was she said uh, she was the one that sat him too, and he came back twice. So, uh, R.I.P. to my man Tony.